Hey everybody, I'm Jerry Katzman and welcome to MasterTalentTeachers.com. You know, whether you're a comedian, actor, singer, dancer, model, host, no matter what you do, the one thing you need to do to get good is do it. And that is what we in the business call getting stage time. There is a problem though, that every other performer also wants stage time too. So I'm going to share with you today three powerful tips that come from my experience as a performer, all of my students' collective experience as performers, three very simple but very powerful things that you can do to make sure you get as much time as you need to become as good of a performer as you want to become. The first tip for getting as much stage time as you want is also the most important advice I can give you about your career. It basically trumps anything I can say in all of my videos, and here it is. Become a producer. Become a producer. If you take this on as your career ethos, you almost cannot help but become successful. Let's take the example of two actors. Both of them want to get on a show like Saturday Night Live. Tell me which one is more powerful. The first one hopes he can get, the, get an agent so he can, hopes he can get the audition so he can, hope that the casting director likes him so that he can, hope the producer, hope the director. And the second one starts his own YouTube channel. Which one is more powerful? Clearly the second, because the second can still try and get an agent, but he's doing something instead of hoping about something. What I want you to do right now is walk into the nearest church, uh, coffee shop, restaurant, synagogue, uh, community center. I don't care where you have a connection to that you see people come, that someone in charge wants more people to come there and just walk in and say, hey, how would you like to have a comedy night? How would you like to have a cabaret night? Uh, let's start our own dance troupe, theater troupe. You've got to become your own producer. And here are two of the many reasons why. Uh, the first reason is you get to cast yourself. You cast yourself as talent. You're never waiting for someone to cast you. And the second thing is that when you become a producer, you begin to give people opportunities to perform. And when you give people jobs, they give you jobs. So the most powerful thing, you don't even watch, watch any more of this video, if you just take on, become a producer. Yes, there's a little more responsibility to it than if you're just a talent. Yes, uh, you'll have lots of uh, interesting trials and tribulations, but ultimately you will be taking control of your career in a way that you just can't if you don't produce something. So that's it. If you don't want to watch the other two, don't. Just go forth and become a superstar and then come back and write me a million dollar check. Okay, if you've continued watching this, I'm assuming it's 30 years later, you're famous and you want to know the other two tips, well, what the heck. Uh, the second thing to get more stage time is the second biggest piece of advice I can give you, and that is to network. Networking is as simple as this. If you get off stage doing whatever you do, and another fellow performer comes up to you and goes, wow, you're really good, you did a great job, that was awesome. You have two choices. You can either convert them to a member of your team who helps you achieve your goals, or you can just say thank you and leave. And I'm gonna assert that most performers, when someone comes up to them and go, oh wow, that was so great, they just go, thanks a lot, okay, see you later. And that is no way, that is no way to build either a fan base or a network of people who are helping move in the same direction of you. So I'm gonna give you three uh, sentences, very simple sentences, I'm gonna make you say them after me. And if you just practice these here with me, what will happen is when you're out in public, and it, again, it doesn't matter what form of performing you're doing, you will be ready to turn that fan into someone who's part of your professional network. Here are three sentences. Here's the first one. Uh, repeat this one after me. Where else do you go up? Say that. Okay, I'm gonna pretend you said it. Um, where else do you go up is an important sentence to have ready in your head. Now, these are for comedy, but you can alter these to any any form, where else do you dance, whatever, but for this one it's comedy. Where else do you go up? So a person goes, wow, Jerry, that, I'm Tim, that was so great. I go, oh man, thanks man, I'm Jerry. Uh, uh, hey, where else do you go up? This is a very important question. He's gonna say, oh, I go up at Big Tony's on Thursday night. Here's the second question I want you to say after me. So, uh, who books that? Try just saying that, who books that? So, oh, where do you go up? Big Tony's. I go, oh yeah, who books that? Chris books that. He's right over there. 
And here's my third question. This is the last one you'll have to do. How do you get booked? Oh, it's Chris books ideas over there. Oh yeah, how do you get booked? Hey Chris, this is Jerry, he wants to go up. Okay, tell him to come next Thursday. These are just three sentences. This is what uh, salespeople call the close. It gets you from, I think I'm interested in helping you, or I think I'm interested in you too. Here's where I want you to show up to perform. You need sentences that step you toward the close. And so whatever version of where else do you go up, who books that, how do you get booked, you need to be able to turn someone who's your fan into a teammate. And the way to do that is to ask them for what you need. Uh, this is just, if you only network and only produce, you will have a career that is probably pretty darn stunning. If you combine that with a good technique, which you learn in class or books or just by being a student of your art form, you really can't go wrong, okay? Um, the third technique and tip, by the way, a quick aside, if it's not a fellow professional and just an audience member and they love you, get their email address, hand them your phone, say, here, you say, hey, you're talking to them and you're nice and oh, wow, and we love what you do. Great, well, you know, what do you do, da, da. I'll tell you what, um, here, I'll make you repeat this sentence too. Uh, if you give me your email address, I'll invite you to some of my shows. Say it. If you give me your email address, I'll invite you to some of my shows. Then just hand them your phone, have them type in their email address and name and have them hand it back to you and start a list of people who are your fans. This is the other side of networking and I would be remiss uh, if I didn't say that. And by the way, if you want more tips about networking, producing your own shows, even contracts, some of the nitty gritty, go to my website, standupcomedyclass.com, join my email list and read some of the articles. I will get you moving in business, okay? Check it out. Now, the last tip is the easy one. This is the one everyone does. That's why I put the first two, being a producer and networking, at the front. The third one is a much more conventional way to get stage time, and that is this. If you go to websites, and you can find these links on my site as well, badslava.com, B-A-D-S-L-A-V-E.com, chucklemonkey.com, they have lists of all the open mics everywhere. And if, and if they don't have one for your area, just put in your zip code or your area plus the word open mic, uh, open space mic, into Google and you'll find something. Two quick tips about this. Uh, one, call the venue or the contact person, make sure that open mic is still going on. And two, some of these are open mics that are booked out in advance. So email those people, tell them who you are, give them a link or something about you and ask to be in their open mic. And what you're going to see happening is really incredible. Your schedule will be filled with shows that you've scheduled out into the future, shows that you produce, shows that you normally do, shows that you network yourself into. Your schedule will be so full that nothing will happen except you getting better and better and more and more good. And soon you're going to have to worry about uh, contracts and getting paid for what you do. And if you're interested in that, I have more information about how to uh, create and book your own shows, how to book yourself, how to work through the contracts, and even the links to those sites on my website, standupcomedyclass.com. Here at this site, you have a team of professionals who are so committed to you succeeding that uh, never before in history has there been anything like it. So what we'd like you to do is two things. One, underneath this video, tell me your best trick for booking more stage time. How do you get your stage time? I don't care how crazy it is, let us know. And two, make sure you're signed up for our newsletter and check out all the videos both for myself and for my partners. We really want to thank you for being part of us here at mastertalentteachers.com.